can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back i can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed Everybody in the house right now, make that commitment. God, I can't go back. There's nothing to go back to, God. I'm moving forward in you, Lord. There's nothing left for me in that old life, in that old way of living, God. It's done nothing but hurt me, God. I may have had some pleasure in sin, but it always ended up in shame and pain and hurts, God. I'm going to move forward in a life that brings victory, that brings joy, that brings peace and power over the enemy and over my situations, that I can smile in any trial or tribulation. That's the peace that passes all understanding. That's the kind of peace I'm going to have, God. Take this offering that I bring. Come the oh, I yes, fall Jesus. on my knees to proclaim your everything. My life's nothing without you. Take my hand and lead me through. You are my sustaining love. I live to worship.
forever that's the thought that just opened up to me is in order to have forever with God you got to do it right now you can't have forever with God missing out the present missing out the moment you've got to learn to worship him right now to get your forever so let's do that just for a few minutes we're not going to go on with the service yet we're just going to worship God to, to to receive our forever, to be in intimacy with God, that we might understand forever. God, I trust. God, I lean on you right now. Because I know there's an eternity to be acquired. And I want eternity with you, Jesus. I don't want to be stuck in this world. I don't want to be left behind, God. I don't want to be left with the carnal and the temporal. I want to be in the spiritual. I want to be in forever with you. it didn't guarantee us forever it's not a guarantee it's an opportunity when he died on the cross he made it available he opened it up what a shame for people not to enter in for those to reject what God has given that you can have eternity what, what a travesty how sad it will be for those that reject God and his teachings and his commandments but no not this church this church is going to say, God, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to obey you. I'm going to do what you ask. I'm not going to say, Lord, Lord, and not do what you say. I'm going to follow the Lord with all my heart that I might have my forever. Let's give a hand clap. 
up a praise one more time to the Lord. He is so awesome. Yes. God is so awesome. He is so mighty. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've just committed my heart. Uh, I'm going to live for God. Uh, I'm going to live for God. I don't care what anybody else does. Uh, I'm going to hope the church is going to follow. I'm going to pray and teach and lead. But ultimately, I'm only responsible for my soul and the soul of my family. You have got to make a decision for yourself. For me and my house, I'm going to yes. serve the Lord. Yes. For me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. In Jesus' name, praise God. Anybody love the Lord in this place? Oh, I better hear more than that. Uh, when I ask if you love the Lord, there better be a, a roar that comes from this place. Uh, if you want to see forever, hallelujah, we have to love him. Praise God. Praise God. I'm about to get, I don't want to get into my preaching. I'm, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost in this place. I want to just take off. But we got some things we got to take care of. It doesn't always mean that we go by a program, but there is need for some sort of organization. Did you get that bag? Before we do offering, she brought, oh, here it is. Before we do offering, we've got some things to say about that. First of all, let me just say that, you know, there are some things I'm going to start preaching that the church needs to get ready for. I'm going to start, I'm, I'm going to start becoming big daddy in this place. Not to say I'm not, you know, Bill's way older than me. I'm not trying to be your, your pop. I'm not trying to do that. But what I'm saying is that it's time that we, if we're going to take the step that we're taking, we've got to move forward a little bit. We've got to do some catching up. Uh, Pastor, no one can ever say that I have not been patient with this church. No one can ever say I pushed you too hard. No one can ever say that I knocked you down. But we do need to move forward. I'm going to tell you that uh, uh, I went to a service this morning in another church and the pastor didn't even show up until 45 minutes after the service started. He had someone else leading who'd never led before. Uh, and, and they know I'm a pastor. I visited there before. I had my head down because I don't want them thinking I'm going to go up there and help them out because the pastor's not there. I'm not stepping in someone else's pulpit without their permission. You know, I, I've, been, I've, been, I've got some training myself. I'm not going to do that. Uh, if I was going to prepare myself for what I was going to say. I'll just, if you want me to testify, I'll do it from right here. Now understand, I could have done it because I've got the ability to do that, but sometimes we've got to use some sense. If I'm in this man's pulpit and he walks in and he didn't invite me there, I've got to think how's that going to make him feel. I know how I'd feel. Uh, what you doing? <laughs> right? So I'm trying to treat people like I want to be treated, but, you know, he got there and they started the music. It was awesome. They had a good time. Uh, but I, I didn't feel so bad when, you know, 1 o'clock comes and, you know, we're not full till 1.30, or we don't have the majority of the people here until 20 or 30 minutes after. But let me tell you the experience I had last Sunday. See, when we went to, to New Live, which we're doing every Sunday, who's going tonight? Raise your hand. One, two, ooh, almost all of you, praise the Lord. Sister Terry, you're going to go to Hatch tonight? Okay, that's cool. Sister Marissa, you going to New Life tonight? You're going where? Yes? Sister Rose? Oh, you got to go back to Albuquerque? Yes, I understand. Praise the Lord. So the majority of us are going. That's great. Um, understand, I got there about quarter to six because my wife was going to do a special and we wanted to be able to do a couple things. That parking lot was packed. I got the last parking space at quarter to six, which means they were there long.